President Sunday had already cancelled the debate. Andrew Wilson is not going to miss an opportunity to criticise a black woman. His entire actions over the past week demonstrate that he hasn't changed. Spicy chat is gone. We're going back. Retard. Banned. I don't know. Most of the spicy people are just as damaged as the people they make fun of. Oh. Wait, what? It's kind of amazing Chad hasn't had a size on his hands. drama that I said no autistic disco drama today but I'm just going to talk about this briefly there was um this drama that came about and it was this kind of doxing situation right so there was uh, basically off the back of erudite and sunday coming on my stream a couple of days ago um there was kind of allegation around then in my discord there were um erudite's partner and president sunday were battling with like screenshots of the messages and a whole bunch of shit happened, basically, right? Let's put it like that. Off the back of that, there was a debate that was arranged. The debate being... Kidology agreed to debate President Sunday. I haven't got any of the shit lined up for this, so I'm just going to go with it. Kidology agreed to debate President Sunday on Andrew Wilson's stream about the doxing situation with President Sunday, okay? Now, there's a couple of parts to this. Who's got the original tweet, first of all? He was, yes. In fact, I have seen a message from a certain person, okay? I've seen a message from a certain person that said, we're going to turn President Sunday into a weapon, okay? Literal fucking weaponized autism. And the thing is for me, so obviously you saw, um, I don't know if it was went up on YouTube or not, you saw my conversation with him the other day, like him coming back in, I was a bit like, I don't know, man, like it didn't really seem like he changed. He's just got a new fucking target to go against like a dog with a bone. Exactly like happened with me and DK back last year. But nonetheless, that's kind of my interpretation of it. But now he's doing a little bit of a sneaky sneaky that I just wanted to point out. And there's another piece of information that I've got that I wanted to talk about in regards to President Sunday's activities recently. Okay, here we go. Look, here we go. So this is what the debate was supposed to be. This is what the debate was supposed to be. Okay. President Sunday versus Kidology on doxing. Reference to the drama. Okay. Thank you for the link. We've got it now. So why am I talking about this? Well, a little something happened that isn't like a massive thing, but it's just interesting to point out, okay? So today, Kidology backed out of the debate. God, I'm not, I'm not prepared for this at all. Where's the fucking tweet? So today, Kidology backed out of the debate and said the following. Okay, and said the following. I've decided to do a signature President Sunday move and run from the Sundays from this Sunday's debate regarding not so erudite. My friendship with Kyla is 101% more important and my priority. I want to do everything to help her, and this is the way. I apologize for the inconvenience I'm causing to President Sunday and the Crucible. If there's anything else you'd like to debate that doesn't involve not set erudite or any reference to a situation, I'm game. So, President Sunday, in his usual fashion, this shows how much prep you typically. Thank you for the bits. Stream. Nice. This is literally. Yeah, I, I, I've not got. I'm just fucking pulling it together as I can find it. So, President. Anyway, President Sunday. Okay. Got a little flexing about this, okay? He got a little flexing about this. So he tweeted the following. He said, well, there it is. Now, obviously, it's not explicit, but I think we all know what's happening here, okay? So he's saying, oh, you're backing down from me. You're backing down from me. I, you know, he's normally the run day, but I'm the one that's taken the win now, right?
Very interesting thing to do from President Sunday when you consider the following, okay? President Sunday had already cancelled the debate. So before this tweet, before Kidology cancelled, President Sunday had already cancelled. Look at this. This is from Andrew Wilson, who was going to host the debate. So first of all, well, obviously, Andrew Wilson is not going to miss an opportunity to criticise a black woman. Let's get that clear straight away. While it would have been nice if you had let me know via DMs so I could reschedule the debate or cancel it correctly like a pro, Sunday had already cancelled. Why is he out here acting like he's fucking, you know, won anything? He cancelled it first. What? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Run day strikes again. So no big deal. I just hadn't taken down the broadcast yet. I still hope to see you on the crucible for another topic and have no ill will. Have a swell day. So it's just, to me, it's really odd to flex about something as if you've won when you have done the thing first. Do you know what I mean? It's like, why would you, why would you do that? Why are you trying to act like you won anything? You cancelled first. Now, obviously, you know, it's insane to not DM Andrew and say, oh, hey, Andrew, by the way, can't make the debate. Obviously, retarded thing for Kidology to do. But it's just kind of weird to me. And, and just a weird, like, flex to flex on something when it's like, you cancelled already. Anyway, like I say, that's it. There isn't really much to this drama, okay? But one thing I will say is this in regards to the President Sunday situation, okay? So, President Sunday left my Discord yesterday. Now, when I spoke to him the other day, one of the things I mentioned was this concept that, you know, he was enjoying kind of this positive attention that he was getting from my community, if, if you saw it, right? Welcome and my Johnny. suspicion he did not run. was that he was kind of like utilizing that to his own end and utilizing that to his own benefit, right? Now, obviously, I don't know what's inside his head. But the fact that he's now left the Discord, right? I believe fairly soon after speaking to Demon Mama on stream about it, okay? On top of that, he messaged someone, okay? But I can think I can say, I, Boot, he messaged Boots. He messaged Boots out of concern and Boots came to me with the information saying, look, President Sunday's noted this, just letting you know that he's concerned about it, right? Which obviously, you know, of course, Boots is going to bring that to me. But he'd messaged Boots to complain about the fact that Spicy Chat was having a go at Doe and mocking Doe because Doe is now a feed, a feedy. You remember Doe? Doe is a feedy. So Doe is basically intentionally putting on weight to look fatter for like a sexual fetish, okay? Right? A feedy, yes. Right? The little fucking rat was fucking going about into people into someone's DMs to say to say how bad it was, including what he said. One thing he said that he was included was I'm surprised that Chud doesn't have a suicide on his hands. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Are you serious? Literal cancer. Literal cancerous bullshit. Going off to someone fucking, oh, they're going to go at dough. What's that about? Like, yeah, that's what it's about. Okay, that's unbelievable. Wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Do more like do ain't no way. So you know, it's just you know, it's just very. Like I said when when I spoke to him, it, I was I was always a bit like on edge about the fact that President Sunday had kind of rejoined the community. But whatever, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. You know, let's try and move forward. I don't have the same feelings of anger and stuff like that about what had happened. But yeah, I just you know, it's quite clear that President Sunday hasn't really meaningfully learned anything about his actions or reflected on like what he did that was bad or anything like that. He's just got, he's just put down one bone 
and now he's autistically found another bone to pick up and fucking run around with, okay? That's all that this is. That's all that this is. And he was, you know, enjoying and benefiting from the people in my community that were cheering him on, winding him up like a fucking autistic toy and then fucking, you know. And now he's left again. And also, and I believe this was a couple of days ago, I can't remember the dates, but also he's, you know, contacted someone associated with the server to say, you know, Oh yeah, I think it's. I think this is bad. And also, you know, I'm surprised Chad doesn't have a suicide in the hands. So yeah, just wanted to update you on the present Sunday situation. Wait. Oh, hey, Big Papa Fash. Sunday council before kidology. I didn't know any of this till this morning. <laughs> yeah. So basically, kidology didn't actually contact um, Big Papa Fash first. Kidology just tweeted out. Kidology just fucking tweeted out to cancel. Like, why would you not message the person and go, oh, hey, by the way, I can't do the fucking debate anymore. But anyway, anyway, listen, listen. <laughs> There's other tweets, obviously, we could talk about when it comes to Kidology. But uh, we don't need to worry about that right now. Let's put it that way. Nonetheless, nonetheless, you know, I just think it's very cringe to flex on someone for cancelling a debate when you've already cancelled two days ago. That's just an, an insane thing to do as well to me. And, you know, I think that my, my caution around the President Sunday renaissance has, has been somewhat justified because, you know, he's not... that. Like I say, I don't know if he's going to look at this and do anything now. I don't really fucking give a shit. But, you know, clearly he was just trying to utilise the goodwill that he felt he built in my community to kind of push out whatever fucking you know, narrative he thinks he can get away with. I'm not, listen. <laughs> Look, it's a very, okay, I'm just, no comment, okay? I'm, I plead the fifth. You don't need to, listen, you don't need to know about it, okay? Just don't worry about it, all right? But yeah, anyway, it, I mean, honestly, in this situation, do you know I feel bad for? Mr. Andrew Wilson, well, he's, he's lost his content. He's lost his content now. His content's gone. Why didn't the host DM Kid? When, yeah, okay. I, what, that's a good question, actually. Why didn't you DM Kidology when you knew? Oh, Big Papa Fascist getting called out for unprofessionalism. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, where DMs aren't open. Okay. Then how, wait, how did you organize it in the first place? <laughs> or did you do it via Twitter before? Like Welcome Twitter responses? Because I know you, there was a tweet about it Hot before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Okay. That makes sense. Bash. I got you. They have given two gift subs in the channel. There we go, see? Question answered. But yeah, I don't know. Like like I say, I don't have any hatred or anger or anything towards President Sunday anymore. I'm just kind of glad that I didn't like... I wasn't like, hey, yo, President Sunday, how's it going, mate? Yeah, let's fucking... Let's pal about now, you know? Because it turns out that, uh, yeah... I mean, he's left. He's left the Discord now, so I'm assuming he probably wants nothing, nothing more to do with me again. So that's fine with me. I can't believe he went after her for running. Yeah, I know. It's mental. It's it's like trying to put on a show of being victorious when you know you've already surrendered or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. There we go. I used to listen. I used to get on with President Sunday really well back in the day. We um, we had some we had some good some good memes together. That do you know what was funny as well in my in my Discord. There was like a bit of a a bit of a split in some ways because some people like were just just saw President Sunday as like their autism warrior to go to battle against whoever they felt deserved to get the autistic fucking attention from President Sunday. But there were also other people that were like, hang on a minute. This fella, this fella tried to fuck with DK and Chud and he just waltzes back in here. That's kind of bullshit, isn't it? So, you know, 
those people that had that position have kind of been validated, I think, a bit. I wrestle weebs. There we go. You can take you can take the dub. You can take the dub. I think Pretty Tony was the same as well. Tony win for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tony was like very like perturbed by it. Tony was like like he repeatedly said about it. He was not happy with the fact that this was happening. So yeah. You had the position before Tony. Yeah, I mean, like I say, I didn't want to like make a big because remember why does you were like saying to me, you were like, oh, da -da -da, and try and get me to talk about it. And I was just like, I didn't want to like spend my time in fucking Discord chat litigating it. Obviously, we ended up speaking on stream a bit about it. But uh, yeah. You people sick of me. What do you mean, Bug Squander? I was like, at least, uh, but the thing is, okay, here's the thing, right? Let's say that I'd gotten President Sunday to apologize to me. His entire actions over the past week demonstrate that he hasn't changed at all. Like not one iota has he changed. He takes something where there maybe is like something to talk about or discuss. Okay. And he picks whatever narrative he can out of the drama that's happening. And then he runs a million miles an hour in one direction with it and makes the most insane, excessive claims in order to like bolster his position and bolster his point. Thank you, Hannah. But this is this is the thing. Okay, this is the thing, though, right? It's great for you fucking retards, you fucking Discord losers, sat in there like a bunch of autistic freaks A-logging everyone, okay? Yeah, it's great fun for you, isn't it? With no fucking skin in the game, right? But when it's my fucking Discord that's on the line, because some autistic freak is going to go in there and fucking report it, for like fucking President Sunday, digging through DMs going, oh, they're being mean, they're being mean. Yeah, obviously, that's my, that's my fucking skin. That's my fucking skin, okay? You're getting enjoyment out of my skin. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Boohoo, my Discord's on the line. The Discord that you all post in regularly. The Discord that you all sit and talking, watching your fucking videos of sick saying some fucking retarded shit. Yes, that Discord, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna have to start fucking banning people at this rate, okay? Jesus Christ. Don't care. We'll see how much you care when you get banned from everywhere, you fucking retard. You'll probably you'll care then, won't you, you fucking idiot? Jesus Christ. I tell you what, right? Do you know what? I've been listening to these people complaining about my Discord, okay? And I think they've got a point. I think they've actually got a point. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to implement some new rules, okay? Spicy chat is gone. We're going back. Retard. Banned, okay? Stupid and fool. Ableist terms. Banned. Gone, okay? Keep going. What else do you want me to do? <laughs> No, listen, it's all good. Listen, I'm fucking around. I understand it's entertaining, but it is just a bit annoying. It is a bit annoying when you fucking pull President Sunday back like a slingshot. And it's like, fuck me. He's not changed. He's exactly the same. This call is for entertainment. Yes, I know. Okay. But surely you must understand the concept that it's like not you that has to deal with any of the blowback of it, right? If anything happens, anything happens ever, you don't have to worry about any of it. We're bringing back the soy mods. Okay. The soy mods are coming back. But yeah, I mean, President Sunday just... This is what I'm saying, though, is like the whole apology thing. Like if, if President Sunday had said, oh, sorry about what happened, Chad. I'm sorry what I did to DK. Like when, but his, his mentality and behavior hasn't changed. It's like, well, it's kind of worthless, isn't it? You know? It's kind of worthless. It's pointless. I'll take back my support for Sunday if you unban forever. <laughs> I do miss forever. Forever's a funny guy. But the thing is as well, here's the other here's the other thing that I don't think President Sunday really grasped either. 
is the support that he was getting was tinged in like this kind of irony, right? Because bear in mind, what's funny about it as well, some of the people that were supporting him last year when me and him had the beef were doing fucking pictures of him. We're making pictures of him, making him look as ugly as possible to mock him. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like these people are going, base Sunday, da, da, da. you know, they're the ones that last time were fucking mocking him super hard, you know? And we're going super hard for fucking the Mr. Sunday, President Sunday. Point of view, you let a known extreme autist and get mad when he does exactly what was expected. I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not mad at President Sunday at all. Like, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what was going to happen, but it was quite clear that like, what, what, you know, there's a series of events that was plausible, I guess you could say. It's kind of like, um, you know, at school, okay, imagine you're at school, right? Imagine you're at school and there is someone with a mental disorder and disability in the classroom, okay? Right? Right? And they just start losing their shit and fucking tearing up textbooks, shitting on the floor, fucking tearing the heads off of fucking teachers. Stuff like that, right? I don't know, you're like 12 or 13 or some shit, right? People in the class are cheering him on because it's funny to watch a complete retard just go ballistic and tear shit up, right? <laughs> but they're still, they still think he's a retard. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to say, okay? Sc okay. Can we use the correct term? School... Okay, I feel like we're, I feel like, I feel like, I don't, <laughs> let's stop talking about mentally disabled children. Okay, can we, can we just move on? I know I started it, but let's just move on. But yeah, it's, it's weird because, you know, I genuinely, I, de I, I've forgotten about the DK President Sunday calling for him to be fired thing. But, um, you know, just funny. What is it they say? A leopard never changes their spots. Never knew a deer could transition to a cow. Well, look, look okay. I think, I think that the complaint was, was premised on the idea that Doe is doing this because of some trauma or something like that, right? And it's, it's like... That sucks, sure. <laughs> but like, if someone is very publicly eating a lot of a lot to put on weight for a fetish, it's like the meme, isn't it? You know, it's like it's like the meme. It's uh, you know, this person is intentionally putting on weight and posting the results to Twitter for a fetish, and you're laughing. Yeah, that's kind of funny, no? Like, I appreciate it's a bit, it's might be tasteless. It might be a bit tasteless to laugh at something like that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of funny to laugh at. I don't know. I can't, it's just funny. Is it that bad to laugh at it? Like, obviously, again, I'm not saying you should go and, and hassle them about it, but like just watching from the sidelines. Oh, that's true as well. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's a really good point, right? Obviously, we know about the sick situation, right? Okay. I don't want to fucking get into the fucking details of it. Sick, has, sick said a very embarrassing and stupid thing on stream about his childhood. Okay. Right. And listen, my community has been very harsh in dealing with that. And it's been very exacting in their approach to it. And certain individuals have gone to great lengths to mock and berate him for that, okay? So I'm not saying my hands are clean. I'll take the fucking blowback of that or the criticism of that, right? Okay? But basically, President Sunday was going on stream with Sick and he was framing 
this this thing in the worst possible way to make it seem like Sick was like a pedophile. Okay, so it's just funny to me that he's sawing out about this kind of mockery that's happening in the server. Meanwhile, he's going to Sick and and describing the situation because obviously this this situation that happened. Sick was ten at the time. Sick was ten himself, but President Sunday is not mentioning that bit to make it sound way fucking worse. It's basically like pedo jacketing, right? It's basically like pedo jacketing sick, to, to put it, you know. I don't really like that term, but you know what I mean? That's the kind of term you would use. So again, you know, obviously I appreciate people, some people get a sort of sick pleasure out of that, you know. Yes, a lot of them are in my community, sure. I don't deny that. But like, you know, like... How, like, what impact does he think that might have on sick? <laughs> like, he's worried about my Discord. He's worried about my fucking Discord, you know, mocking someone that isn't even in the fucking Discord, or even if associated with the Discord. Yet, he's going onto streams publicly and uh, and doing that, you know? So, yeah. Like, if you were concerned about being toxic and stuff like that, you probably wouldn't do something like that. You probably wouldn't do something like that, would you? You probably wouldn't fucking do something like that. Right? You'd, you'd, you'd be a bit more, you know, responsible in how you approach that situation because you would, would be concerned about the outcome. Especially if he's saying to me about there's a concern, like, why doesn't Chad have a suicide on his hands? Meanwhile, he's there engaging in behavior, which by his own analysis and view could very possibly lead to that outcome because you're, you know, presenting information to someone in a way publicly to make it sound way worse than it is like peter jacketing them right so yeah and the thing is is like if presidents are like you know listen i'm not listen there look sick is a fucking retard okay sick is a retard he should stop fucking saying dumb shit on stream publicly i, I don't understand his fucking mentality on this but even then to go publicly and to use that, especially if you're trying to have a contentious conversation with someone and you're, you know, dropping that in there to make them look bad. It's it's just, you know, you're, you're doing the thing that you were criticizing my community for, but, it, it, you know, I would even argue it's worse because you're doing it in like a very public setting. You know, it's a very public setting that you're doing it in versus, you know, like you're you're doing it to the person publicly in a way to try and, Make them look like absolute shit in, in like an unreasonable way, leaving details out. But again, obviously, I appreciate people just think it's hilarious because they pulled back Sunday like an autistic slingshot. I mentioned that he'd left my Discord and I also mentioned that he'd reached out and spoken to Boots about his concerns about the Discord. Um, Boots has gone ahead and put those messages in my Discord. So we're going to have a quick look at what we've got, okay? And also, to be clear, from what I can understand of this, I think the reason that Boots doesn't care about these getting leaked is because uh, I think I think that President Sunday leaked Boots DMs in the previous drama. Now, I'm not here to assess the fucking ethics of releasing these DMs. I'm just going to read them, okay? So, as I was saying, the reason I'm going over these, um, President Sunday recently re-entered my community and... He seemed to, you know, be enjoying a kind of renaissance. There were people in my community that were cheering him on and thought he was based for his giga autism stuff that he was doing. Um, you know, I was kind of cautious. Obviously, I'd been for a lot of shit with President Sunday. So I was a bit cautious about like being pally pally with him. Um, I did refollow him on Twitter. Um, we actually um, spoke privately for about 10 or 15 minutes, I think, about the um, erudite stuff. And he gave me like his side of the story. Um, and he said to me that he'd taken the videos down and I, I sort of, you know, said like, look, I don't feel obviously angry about it anymore. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of in the past. Let's try and move forward. Right. But unfortunately, President Sunday apparently hasn't learned anything and under the table, I didn't actually record it. I didn't actually record it. Didn't actually record the call. There was nothing in there that I think was unreasonable to, you know, if he's got the recording, I'd more than welcome him to release it. I've got no issue at all with people hearing the call. Um, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, so he, yeah, listen, Tony, I was saying earlier, you're one of the true 
yeah. I mean, you know, like I say, I was cautious. I didn't want to totally like, you know, go in there and be like, fuck President Sunday. Da, da, da. Obviously, I've still got concerns, but I wasn't really angry. We spoke on stream about it and you probably saw on stream my conversation with him. Bit cautious, but, you know, it seems like he hasn't really learned anything. But anyway, turns out his little revival in spicy chat. Unfortunately, he was there worried about the things that were being said. So let's see. Not wanting to argue, I'm just genuinely am perplexed. Sweaty thing. The community you hang in is unremittingly cruel to people who have done literally nothing against them. This includes people who are victims of horrendous levels of sexual violence like Doe. Why the sudden, conf why the sudden concern for someone like Sick? Oh, I think he's referring to Boots' concern for Sick because obviously... Obviously, my community has been very exacting in their approach to sick. But the thing about this concern from President Sunday that I'm thinking is like, you know, President Sunday was being unremittingly cruel to sick in what he did. So, like, why are you concerned about it when it's happening to someone else? Like, you yourself were being insanely cruel to sick, going on the stream and basically pedo jacketing him, making it sound like he was molesting his sister when he was an adult and she was a child. Um, you know, when obviously sick himself was like 10 years old when this, uh, this incident happened. Um, what's this? Was it because of your experience sexually harassing your sister? <laughs> Listen, mate, you were part of the cruelty when it benefited you. Like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway. Oh, for sure, they are cruel, but the cruelty is not directed at the person being talked about typically. I would condemn them saying those things directly to Doe as well. Have you? Not grilling you, just curious. I can't recall a time when somebody in Spicy used sexual violence against someone as a weapon but I am the one to tell them to chill out when directing hatred at people in the server usually. Very true. Boots, um, sadly, um, is one of the voices of reason who will, you know, just try and get people to like rein it in if things are getting too crazy. And unfortunately, she has received a lot of shit for that. Um, but, you know, Boots' concern, there, there was one particular time I remember where like, people were just like it was clear they were taking it way too far to the point where it's like a risk to terms of service right and boots was the voice of reason that was going like do you want this fucking server to get deleted like what the fuck are you doing you know so there's definitely been times where boots is kind of yeah the, she's a read she's a fucking autist wrangler yes correct she gets a lot of shit for it but her concern Obviously, she's got her own personal views about it and, you know, has got concerns with some of the levels of cruelty that are reached. Don't get me wrong. But, like, she is concerned with the server. She doesn't want to get the fucking server banned. So, you know, generally speaking, it's, yeah, it's totally reasonable to, to sort of call out if people are taking it too far because that's the whole point. We absolutely go to a line. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying everyone's fucking nice in there. But when it's the point of it affecting the server, that is when we've really got to fucking draw it back in because we don't get the fucking server banned, you know? But yeah. I'm the one to chill out um, when direct hatred of people in the server usually. I've left the server recently and just came back a couple of days ago because the cruelty was getting out of hand. But I expect you to agree it's reasonable, for example, that those engaging in feeder fetishism is very possibly connected to a history of sexual abuse. This is why I was really curious, actually. You're smart and you have a conscience. I don't know how you stomach this for very long. I mean, you know, firsthand what it does to me, lol. This is so fucking snaky from President Sunday, right? When he was on his fucking autist campaign against Not So Erudite, he was fucking willingly taking on all the people that were cheering him on. All the people that he would say are excessively cruel. He was fucking, you know, he was their champion and he was loving it. Like... I, I, what I hate is the two ways about it. It's like, it can't be both, can it? Surely. You can't think someone... You can't think that someone... That a group of people are really fucking terrible. And then, like, if I, if I thought a group of people were really terrible, I wouldn't want their cheers. 
I don't care what makes you cheer, I've heard. I don't care what makes you boo, I've heard what makes you cheer. Is that a thing? Is that relevant? Anyway. Um, anyway, let's continue on. I don't know. Most of the spicy people are just as damaged as the people they make fun of. Oh! I mean... She's got a point. She's got a point there, okay? I reckon having a slightly more sane person to tell them when it's too far is a good thing. I'm sensitive to all parties involved, I guess. It is easy to get caught up in the ship posting, though. I definitely participate more than I should. I tell you what, I'm glad that I'm the only person in the server, really, that doesn't ever post anything from, like, you know, the moderation side of things. I, I would never post anything that bad. I just, I just don't get involved. Who's got the screenshot? Who's got the screenshot? I'll show the screenshot. I'll show the screenshot because it's funny, okay? I'll show the screenshot because it's funny. If you post it, I'll show it. Someone must have it. Come on. It's kind of amazing Chad hasn't had a... Wait, what? It's kind of amazing Chad hasn't had a suicide on his hands. The one of Extreme Dad's burned down camper. All right. I wasn't thinking of that one, no. Jesus, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Okay, listen. I, I've got to be honest with you. I'm going to be really honest here, okay? If you commit suicide because in a Discord channel with a drama streamer, people are saying things. I don't think... I, 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 don't, I don't think... I think that's just... Uh, I think that says something about you as a suicidee more than the people around you, okay? If you were genuinely pushed to suicide because people in a Discord channel are saying harsh, mean things about you, then you were probably going to kill yourself anyway. I mean, it sounds harsh, sure, but like that's just true, isn't it? Like, what? A fucking Discord channel. Something which is optional, which you can just not engage in whatsoever. I just don't, I don't understand it, right? Like... Listen, I've had my issues in my life, okay? And I've got to be honest with you. At no point did I ever feel like killing myself because of fucking a Discord channel. I don't know. It's just such a weird concept to me. Because the thing, here's the thing, right? In my mind, what makes like harassment and, and, and you know, attacks and stuff bad is if people are going beyond like a standard channel to try and get in touch with you in ways where you can't really avoid it. And that's why, like, the link between the online and the real world is a problem. Because you can't just switch off from people, like, calling your job trying to get you fired for something you said on the internet. Like, you, you can't escape that. That is like a hand reaching out of the screen and grabbing at your real world situation. So I just don't relate to the idea that you're going to kill yourself because, you know... People are posting shit in a Discord that you don't even have to you don't even have to be in in any meaningful way. Listen, if anyone's gonna commit suicide, because of what happens in spicy chat, it's gonna be me. Okay? It's gonna be me. It's gonna grind me down eventually. If anyone's gonna kill themselves, it's gonna be me. Not fucking someone else. Jesus. A lot of sane people would consider it after getting the Drazi treatment. I personally have trouble feeling pity for him, maybe for his parents, but I do wonder about that. It's playing with fire. Okay. <laughs> I, I know I said no, no autistic Discord drama today, okay? But Jesus fucking Christ. Elder Drazi was sat there fucking looking at my Discord as they were mocking him. Like, just don't... Like, I, I don't know. Is the fucking cyberbullying tweet. Just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. I don't know. Is that out of line for me to say? I, I just, I, I just, for me, in my head, I'm thinking that's what I would do. Like, okay, for example, earlier, for example, earlier, right? 
there was this Discord, and I got added in it, and someone put some hardcore Pokemon porn in there, right? Okay. I just left the server. I was like, fuck this, this is stupid. I just left. If, if, you know, if I was in a Discord and they were saying some shit and it was pissing me off, I just leave. I just don't know why people insist on staying in, in somewhere where it's not even, you know, necessary to be in there. Just, just leave. Just don't, just, or don't engage or like, I don't know. It's just, I don't understand it. I'd, I'd love to understand the logic of someone who feels like they're having harsh and bad things said about them. Maybe even having pictures posted that, you know, bear in mind, which are public promotional images for OnlyFans getting posted. I can understand them not liking it. But I just don't really know why they didn't just like look away. <laughs> you know, it, like for example, right? It has been mathematically proven. It has been mathematically proven that I'm like hated on on LSF, right? Like if I went and read through all the comments, you know, you'd probably drive yourself crazy. A bunch of fucking retards talking shit about you if you just subjected yourself to that. But you just don't, just ignore it. Just don't look at it. And then it's fine. Do you know what I mean? I just, just don't look at it. I don't know. I just, oh man. I just, am I, oh God. I just, I just feel like that's the best way to deal with it. I just don't think it's healthy to go in and subject yourself if you genuinely th if feel that that's going to hurt you in some meaningful way to the point where you'd kill yourself. I don't know. Anyway. All you can really do in a drama server is try to make it so people who are active in the server aren't getting hurt, really. I also have trouble pitying someone who puts their entire life on display and whinges when people laugh at what they see. But if that person were an active member of Chud's server and they were catching shit day after day, I think that's when it becomes a server's responsibility. It's 100% Drazi's fault. I agree, no pity. Here's the thing. There's no guarantee it will be someone like Drazi who does it if someone does. And my worry is, what happens if the general perception is not that it was their own fault? The number it takes is one. Autism takes. I read all the LSF comments, but I'm new to this shit. I honestly, look, it's up to you what you how you do your stuff. My a redditor's opinion is worth less than a fucking two year old child's. Okay. Honestly, it is just not worth engaging in any meaningful way with Reddit comments. Basically, engaging with you are you are you are listening to the opinion of people that have got zero skin in the game and are just like like they're nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like if you want opinions on something or takes, ask like another content creator or another streamer or someone like that, you know? Don't who cares what someone puts on fucking Reddit? It takes two seconds to type out a comment. And, you know, that's it, isn't it? You don't need to do an IQ test to join Reddit. Let's put it that way. But what responsibility is on the server in that case? If the person who has chosen to make themselves a public figure comes into spicy to read mean things people have said about them. I can't blame the people who said mean things in a mean opt-in channel. We specifically forbid, forbid brigading. So if that's done, please let me know and it will be sorted. I honestly don't know what greater precautions we could take other than not letting people say mean things. None. It would come down to Chud and DK. You said it yourself. For the first couple of hours, tuna chip convo, people were genuinely worried about him and trying to help. The server isn't full of monsters, just shit posters. Yes, I agree. Here's the problem. The space is full of monsters who would have a, who would have a vested interest in Chud and his community being portrayed as such. And the decent people in the server are not would be highlighted as representatives. See what I'm saying? God, how can you say that when you get one guide more than anyone? I mean, that's like in my chat. Like I've got to look at my chat, haven't I? I'm not saying it justifies getting one guide or whatever, right? But obviously that's different to like some nebulous comment somewhere in the ether that I don't even know necessarily exists. So someone coming to my chat and saying, oh, you're a fucking retard or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting one guide again. Honestly, I just, I think that, you know, it, obviously it bleeds over sometimes and there'll be some drama that happens and you go offline and then you've got to talk to someone or deal with someone or do something, you know, after the, the hours. But as a content creator, your best thing to do is to try and maintain it to here. And then when you switch off, just go and do something else, you know? 
I when I finish my stream, normally I'll go and sit on the sofa and like watch some YouTube videos or some shit, right? Not nothing to do with any of this and just try and, you know, separate it out a bit. But then I think one of the problems is some people are connected so closely that they cannot differentiate between what is the content and what is drama and what is this versus like, what is it, you know? Do you feel what I mean? You've got to try and put a line there so that you don't end up in circumstances where you're just obsessing and worrying about, you know, I've, I've done it before where there was like drama in the Discord and I'm spending time outside of streaming trying to sort it out. Um, you know, and it's, it's just, it's, that's the fucking President Sunday shit. And then President Sunday made a fuck big, fucking big deal out of it anyway, made it all into content and made it. So then it became content anyway, you know? Um, so I just think generally speaking, my mentality is if there's drama, let's deal with it here. Okay. Where possible. And then anything else is just for maybe in the few hours before my stream or something like that. Cause yeah, you can, you like, I know you don't care about streamers and think they're subhuman, but you can honestly, I can see how people could drive themselves crazy if they obsess and they look and they look at all the shit people are saying about them. Yeah. You're going to drive yourself insane by doing that. Because obviously loads of people are going to have opinions on you. Some are good, some are bad, and some are totally unreasonable. And it's what's frustrating is to see a comment that you know is like unreasonable, but there's nothing you can do about it. So why, why bother even looking at it? It's pointless, isn't it? You know? But some people do that. Some people will go and engage in the most hostile, you know, the most hostile places and be shocked that they're getting like a bunch of shit, you know? People, people have got a habit of, this is like mental to me. They go into spicy chat and they search for their own name. Why would you, do, why would you fucking do that? That's just like crazy. I could understand, you know, when I was a small creator, you know, I was like, oh, I wonder, I wonder. And it, you just really, and I tell you what, <laughs> look at my name up one night, my big controversy. That was not a good idea at all. That was terrible, terrible idea to do that. But generally speaking, a lot of this stuff that people are saying about you has got no impact whatsoever in any meaningful way. You know, just go about your day. Have a good time. I don't know. Anyway, let's get through these. It's, get, it's getting late for me. Even after having been fucked over by multiple people I trusted in the space, I still can't believe anyone is a monster except maybe Mr. Girl. People have been trying to get Chud server banned for ages now and still nothing. So they can keep trying to betray the community however they like, and I don't know what it will accomplish. Still people come in, make friends, shit post. Some are actual racists and get banned. As long as there's a lion tamer or two, I reckon we'll be okay. Based from Boots. I agree, but it won't come down to the community. Destiny just said to nearly a million people that you were one of the worst people um, in the space. That's a lot of people to convince if something goes wrong. Sorry I didn't start talking intending to tell you how you should do things. I'm a nobody and the vast majority of streamers do not care about the ethics of their editors. If anything goes pear-shaped, it's on Chud. So I reckon if you are genuinely concerned, you should talk to him about it. Though I think that trust has been eroded. Correct. Absolutely correct. No, I get it. It's a really weird community that definitely crosses many people's lines in ways that get people genuinely upset and vitriolic. I mean, it was eroded because he didn't act like a person towards people who genuinely trusted him, but you're right. Well. There we go. I do appreciate the feedback because most people just assume the worst without having experienced the community. But I must sleep now. Good night. Well... There we go. It is honestly not that surprising. <laughs> like that, you know. So this is, you know, like it was the people, people in my community could see it quite clearly of the dynamic that was happening. Right.
Like, as in, there was definitely an... Like, I honestly think that President Sunday sees himself as this strat strategician type character, right? And I reckon that he thinks he's, like, putting the strings and, you know, doing this and doing that, and he's in this community and he's getting people on his side. Like, the fact he went and like, went on Demon Mama's stream to talk about the fucking not so erudite stuff and was kind of, like, using DK as a reference for that. I mean, that just, you know, like, this is the person that, like, a year ago he was saying was so bad that needed to lose their job. So, clearly, he just will, you know do his little Victorian villain pulling the strings. Oh, I'm trying to get this group on my side, that group on my... It's, you know, it's pretty clear, like, that's his whole whole thing, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, that map thing. That's a good example, isn't it? The map thing. Like, you know, I think if this was around the time of the drama between us, I'd feel, like, angry or something. About it, but I'm just kind of like, yep. Yeah, obviously this is was you know a very probable outcome of all all this recent stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't even like hate him. I don't even like. I don't feel. I don't feel any particular way about him of like hatred or something. Just like yeah, pretty pretty obvious, pretty obvious. What uh, what what's going on? But yeah. Anyway, there we go. So. DK, that's that for the video. Done. Cut. Cut there.